Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I am finally testing out a product that has been out for quite a while now and I've actually had sitting on the shelf, been meaning to try out. So that is, as you can see, CarPro Lift, which is their new pre-wash ultra snow foam, as they call it. Now this one is a more of a sort of cleaning snow foam. It's not really just like a pH neutral um, pre-foam. It's just something that's going to clean the car a little bit better. So I've kind of been waiting until my car was pretty dirty before testing this out. So yeah, I'm going to be trying this today. Um, going to use the MJJC foam cannon. Uh, I've got 900 mils of water in there ready to go. So I'm gonna put 100 mils of the CarPro Lift. Now, I may be wrong, but from what I've seen when I looked into this product, it's not a very high foaming product. So I'm not gonna expect any crazy foams. I'm not gonna break out the gimbal and try and get some some really cool slow-mo foam shots. What I more want to do is see what the cleaning ability is like. So I've got my car outside and you can probably see it's pretty dirty. Um, it's not really showing up so much on camera. Here's a good indication. The wheels, the guard lining. Um, down here, you can see in the side skirts, it's actually the dirtiest it's been in quite a while. So this will be a really good test for this product. This is about as dirty as my car gets, if I'm honest. Um, it's been busy cleaning other people's cars and yeah, haven't had a chance to, to get to mine. Um, oh yeah, over here is, you can see just how dirty it is. Got the mud splattered up um, from when I was driving up the mountains just after the flooding here. So yeah, the car is actually hot to the touch now so after looking at the instructions for this product it does say to test on an inconspicuous area do not spray under hot surfaces or in direct sun well i'm basically at both so what i'm thinking is maybe because we don't have our carport built yet which we definitely want to do which would make filming videos like this and just detailing cars so much easier um, with no carport I don't, haven't quite got my garage set up enough to wash in here yet. I still need to waterproof it a bit better. So therefore, I think I'm going to just wait a little bit, a couple of hours for the direct sun to go down. Um, it gets nice and shady here in a couple of hours, so yeah, we might just wait. All right guys, a couple of hours later, did wait for the sun to go down and get a little bit more shade. So pulled the car into the garage, let it cool down. So we won't be spraying onto a hot panel. We've got the foam cannon ready to go. Um, unfortunately, my pressure washer short gun has just started leaking. So my pressure washer may continue sort of kicking on and off, making a lot of sound. But let's get this set up. And it's gonna go see how it does. So I really wanna focus on the areas that are dirty. You can probably see a little bit more now in this lighting. Um, car is definitely covered in dust, which obviously high pressure hose would rinse off. But it's also, uh, here's a good example. See on this front here, a lot of, <laughs> okay, that's the sound we're gonna get a lot of. Uh, there's a lot of like dried up bugs bird droppings, stuff like that. So yeah, let's just cover this, see how it does. So surprisingly, it's much thicker than I thought it was going to be probably because of it being in this foam cannon, but. So we'll get the whole car covered. So 
So yeah, as you can see, it's actually really thick foam. For some reason I thought it was like a runnier foam product. It has a pretty distinct smell to it. Kind of like how CarPro Reset does. I can never put my finger on the smell, but it's something that I really enjoy the more I use it. All right, already positive sign. Have a look at the, what it's taking off from the wheels. So you can see that's not just white foam anymore coming out. It's actually dragging a lot of dirt and grit with it. So I'm actually gonna try and get a little bit into this guard lining as well. All right, well, it's been about five minutes since I applied the CarPro lift, sprayed it onto the car, and it really is dwelling. So, yeah, surprisingly, really good dwell time. So, I believe it's like CarPro's first snow foam reset you could use in a foam cannon, but wasn't really designed for it, and it didn't really seem to dwell like this from what I remember when I have used it. This. Yeah, they obviously took their time. They made something that dwells really well. Only product I can compare it to are the the newly sort of like the newer versions of the Bowden's snow foams that I've tried. They just seem to dwell forever too. Very similar to this. So, yeah, pretty impressive. Um, just don't want to let it dry on the car. So I'm going to go ahead and rinse it. It's been quite a while, but you can see it could dwell for a little bit longer yet. So yeah, let's just see how it does. So we'll start off here at the front. So it removed everything that we had sitting on the bonnet. There was a few bird droppings and stuff that are gone. Um, on the front here, yeah, it's definitely taken all that off, which maybe just a normal snow foam would have, but this car was a lot dirtier than usual. So I know down here we had a bit of mud. The wheels were really dirty, so we're gonna go for this area here, see what it rinses off. Okay, so obviously took all the mud splatter that was up the side guard here. The wheel is gonna be interesting. Let's just, I don't think it's gonna be clean, so we're gonna pull a lot of grit. So yeah, a little bit it left behind the wheel, but it's not a wheel cleaner at all. So some of the spokes, so like this one, let's go this one down here. Surprisingly clean. Now, here, still dirty. Definitely need the wheels to be clean, but it's like this isn't a wheel cleaner at all. So the fact that it cleaned them so well is pretty surprising. Um, side skirt down here, definitely still going to need to be washed. But yeah, this is done a really good job for a pre-rinse. Um, yeah, we don't have the conditions that guys in say that the UK or Canada get with snow and some parts of the US. So we don't really get salt on our roads. There's nothing crazy dirty, but this is probably the perfect product for my environment. All right, guys, well, we finished rinsing the car down. Um, I'm pretty blown away with this stuff. This is far better than I expected. I'm kind of kicking myself having this bottle sitting around on my shelf for like four months now and not trying it out. It's actually really good. Um, now, I'll probably only use it when the cars are really dirty like this one was, really dirty for me. Um, I focused more on this wheel on really rinsing thoroughly. 
So obviously inside the barrel, still really dirty. But something like here, so clean finger, it's actually cleaned my wheel. Like, it's gonna be spots, it's not the best. So like, yeah, it's literally cleaned my wheel pretty well, as good as some wheel cleaners do with just a, a spray and rinse application. So these wheels were really dirty. I'm still gonna clean them, but I'm just gonna use, there's no need to use any wheel cleaner anymore. It's loosened everything. I just needs a quick agitation with the wheel brushes. So yeah, kind of surprising. Um, so down here, where my guard line is kind of popped off because I've lost the plug. You kind of see there, it still needs like underneath in the guard. You can see it still obviously needs to be clean. That's, those are like really dirty areas. Um, but even like bottom of the side skirt, it's cleaned really well. If I'm honest, there's nothing, I've walked around the car, there's nothing, nothing that's left behind. There's no obvious areas. So yeah, very impressed. We'll continue using it. Um, so I have the one liter bottle here. So this is $28, so pretty good price if I'm honest. I diluted it um, 900 mils of water to 100 mil product. It made really thick foam. I ended up using the whole lot just because I wanted to empty this out. Uh, so I wanted to use this for a wash afterwards. Even though I have other foam cannons I could use, but I used more than I would. I could have just used half of that, 500 mils. So only 50 mils of this per wash, I'd say, at $28. I'm not gonna quickly work out the math off the top of my head, but yeah, pretty good value. You get plenty of washes out of that bottle. Um, you can actually get it in four liters as well for $66, I believe it was. Um, I'm probably going to buy the four liters if I'm honest and just continue topping this bottle up. Um, even though I have so many other snow foams, that's my snow foam shelf here. Um, lots another four liters of snow there. So, I mean, this is the sort of thing that it goes against would be like the Merch Decon, the Bowden's Mega Snow Job, which I think is very similar to the fact that it dwells so well and obviously NV Snow Plus. Um, so, I mean, yeah, CarPro is my favorite detailing company. It's what I probably buy the most of, always keen to try their new stuff. This, been, this isn't a new product anymore. This is like last year's and I'm only just getting to it now, but I highly recommend it. I'm gonna keep using it. So yeah, that's gonna be my first test and review of the product. Um, Will it? So yeah, I'll continue using it. So if you guys were thinking of picking some up, then I definitely recommend it. I don't think you'd be disappointed. So yeah, I'm gonna end the video there. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. I need to actually finish washing this car because I've got um, another product to apply to the paint when I am finished washing. So yeah, I need to get move on with that. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Um, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. If you've used this before and if there's any other equivalents you think I should compare, um, show the other ones that I've got there. If there's anything else you think that I'm missing, let me know. That's probably better than this or worth a try. And yeah, if you haven't already subscribed, definitely go down, click that subscribe button. We'll really appreciate that. But with all that said, until next time, I'll catch you guys later.